What is up, punk rockers and brute lickers alike? You're watching Punk Rock Radar, where dreams do come true and the sky is the limit until you hit the ozone layer and you explode in the atmosphere. I'm your host, Barney Nimrod. Let's get into Punk Rock Feud. All right. Well, that quirky introduction out of the way, let's meet our contestants. So first up, the challenger, the man, the myth, the Hudson Valley hardcore legend, <laughs> Lewis. What do you got to say to the folks at home? I don't know why I'm back here, man. John's just been wiping the floor with everybody, but hopefully <laughs> we can kind of change the, uh, change the, the story today. I'm, I'm ready to get a win here, so let's do this. All right, all right. Well, speaking of the champion himself, three-time <laughs> Punk Rock Feud champion, king of the Punk Rock Feudalism, it is Mr. Punk Rock Radar himself, John. What do you got to say to the folks at home, John? Punk Rock Feudalism is a, is a great <laughs> pun. I'll give you that. <laughs> Um, yeah, I got off to a late start this morning, so I'm a little groggy. So if, if, if uh, Lewis is going to sneak one in on me, this is going to be it. This is going to be today. All right. Lewis got his morning coffee. He's getting ready to go. So let me explain the rules real quick. So we are going to be guessing the top five most streamed songs as according to Spotify, the most objective measure of quality, as we all know. The first most streamed song will be five points. The second will be four points and so on down the line. If you guess wrong, that is a strike. Three strikes and you're out. I will be supplying you guys with one hint each for the entire episode. And the hint is I will give you the album that the song for the most points you could possibly get is off of. So you guys all ready to go? Let's go. Let's do it. Okay. Okay. So Lewis, you are going to be starting us off this time. And the band is going to be the offspring, the offspring. So Lewis, what is the most streamed The Offspring song? Oh, man. Uh, I really want to say a different one, but I'm going to say Pretty Fly for a White Guy has got to be real high on the list. So Pretty Fr Fly for a White Guy is number four. Number four is Pretty Fly for a White Guy. So that will be two points to Lewis. And we're going to go to John now. John, what is the most streamed, the Offspring song? Um, let's stick with same album and go, The Kids Aren't All Right. The Kids Aren't All Right, but you're all right. That's number two. That's number two. The Kids Aren't All Right, and that's at 825 million plays on Spotify. And I forgot, Pretty Fly for a White Guy is at 430 million plays on Spotify. And so now we are going back to Lewis. That was four points to John. Let's go with uh, Come Out and Play. Come Out and Play is not on the board. <laughs> Ouch. Damn. That seems, that seems like incorrect. But. <laughs> <laughs> I thought so as well. That one has like cross appeal to like 90s. <laughs> like, you know, I mean, I don't get it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, let's go self-esteem. Self-esteem oh. is number three. Number three oh. at... 540 million plays on Spotify. Self-esteem is number three. And now we're going back to Lewis. Yeah, you know how much I love the offspring here. So this is uh this is <laughs> gonna be a challenge for me. Um oh my god, I don't know. Uh you're gonna go far, kid. Oh my god, Lewis coming in clutch with number one. Oh. You're gonna go far, kid. That is Five points to Lewis, and Lewis just tied things up. We are seven to seven. And Damn. you're going to go far, kid, is at 910 million plays on Spotify. So now we're going back to John. I, for for I forgot how big that song is. Yeah, that song is huge. Yeah, I, I actually thought Come Out and Play was going to be in the top five as well. <laughs> so when I, I didn't even think of that one. I was like, oh, yeah, that's like a huge hit. That song rocks, though. I'll yeah. give it's a good song. One. I think it's like their best, most modern song for sure. Oh, yeah. It's like, yeah, it's a great radio hit. But, uh, yeah, we're at John now. So, John, what is number five? 
I'm like trying to remember the name of this song. Okay. Oh my god. That one's like. Every single day, what you say makes no sense to me. Oh my god, what's it called? Uh, it's down, down the line. No, is that not the one. Oh no. Oh, okay. I think it is on Splinter. Um, can't get my head around you. Can't get my head around you. I can't get my head around that answer. That is not on the board. <laughs> That's one strike to John, and now we are going back to Lewis. I really don't know where to go, so I'm going to do, like, all I want because it was on Crazy Taxi, so I feel like it has cross appeal, so. Oh, yeah, Crazy Taxi, fire soundtrack, but that is not enough to get it on the board. That is Lewis's second strike. We are still tied up. John, can we break the tie? Oh. What's the one with the CGI dogs? And um, Hit that. Hit that. Hit that is a good guess. And it is incorrect. <laughs> so I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, you, you, not, that was a fake out right there. I, I was trying to do a fake out, and then I, I stuttered over my words. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but let's go back to Lewis. There's two strikes on John, two strikes on Lewis, and we've got 7-7 seven, seven tied up. Lewis, can we break the tie? Let's try, I guess, get a job. Mm. Oh, my Good. gosh. Lewis got number five. <laughs> which is why don't you get a job at 330 million plays on Spotify. And Lewis has broke the tie and he is at eight and John is at seven. The offspring is done. You got all the songs on the board. There were no strikeouts. So we're starting off strong here. We're starting off strong. It's a close match. And let's go ahead. And John, this is going to be your first band and it is going to be real big fish. <laughs> So, John, what is the most streamed Real Big Fish song? <laughs> it could be one of two. You should know this. Um, yeah, you yeah, got it. Uh, sellout. All right. Sellout is number one at 56 million plays on Spotify. That is plus five points to John. Meaning John at 12, Lewis at eight. Lewis, you're up. Real Big uh, Fish gotta be beer on the yeah. list beer is number two at 45 million plays on spotify that is plus four point two lewis okay and we're tied up oh oh john you're gonna be you're gonna be stressing now <laughs> i know all right um, all right john you did the tier list <laughs> you got this yeah um everyone what's the, everyone Else is an in asshole. Fish? Is that uh, it? Everyone else is a, is an asshole is number four. Number four is everyone else is an asshole at 12 million plays on Spotify. That is plus two points for John. John's at 14. Lewis is at 12. No strikes on the board. And Lewis, you are up. Man, I think, John, you might do better than this because you know, like, what would be popular from them. But uh, how about she's famous now? Yeah. She's famous now is not on the board. So that is Lewis's first strike. And we are going back to John. Um, I want your girlfriend to be my girlfriend. Uh, that's a good oh, guess. Oh, man. That is a good guess, but it is not on the board, I'm afraid. So that is John's first strike. So we're going back to Lewis. Um, okay, I don't know. God, I bet, I bet it's on the list because it was big. Uh, take on me, their cover. Take on me is number three. Number three yeah. is take on me at 44 million plays on Spotify. That is plus three points for Lewis. And Lewis is ahead by one. We are trading places Shoot. for first here. We're going back to John. John, what is number five? Damn. Um, <clears throat> let's go with good thing. Oh. Good thing is not. On the board, I'm afraid. So it's John's second strike, and we're going back to Lewis. Okay, I'm trying to think. Uh, crossover hits. Uh, uh, okay, where have you been? Where have you been is not on the board. Oh, so that man. is Lewis' the second strike, and we're going back to John. And since, oh, no, no, never mind. I was going to give you a hint if Take On Me was still on the board, but never mind. Mm. So we'll go back to okay, John. Yeah. 
I I am like really shocked that those the two big songs from Why Do They Rock So Hard are not on the list. Well, yeah, once I fa- you- my favorite album. Yeah, me too. Um, man, they have that like '80s cover album too. I feel like one of those could have. I believe "Talk Dirty to Me" is on there. So let's let's go with another cover. All right, "Talk Dirty to Me" is not on there. I'm afraid. And John is striked out. And Lewis, you've got one more chance to get number five. What is the number five most streamed real big fish song? And I, if it's not Where Have You Been, I mean, that was like a radio or tried to be crossover hit. I don't, I don't know. I'll go with the cover album too. It's a good guess. Um, what's it called? Oh, maybe it's on Candy Coated Fury. Uh, when in Rome, uh, The Promise. That's a cover that they did. I think that was pretty popular. Well, it must not be that popular because it is not on the board and Lewis is striked out and allow me to reveal number five for you guys. It is another cover. It is Brown Eyed Girl at 11,300,000 plays. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I was pretty surprised. I knew the Take On Me cover. I actually never listened to the Brown Eyed Girl oh. cover. I know Lagwagon's cover of that. Wagon, but... yeah. That's what yeah. I was going to say. I, didn't even, I don't even know what album that's on. Yeah. 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 So let's move on to the next band here, and Lewis is going first, and that will be the Suicide Machines. So, Lewis, what is the most stream the Suicide Machines song? Uh, I mean, I guess I'll just go with Tony Hawk Crowd to say to start. So we'll go with New Girl. I mean, it was on there, so... New Girl is number one. Oh. Number one. And 18 million plays on Spotify. Lewis just got five points. He's at 20. John's at 14. Lewis pulls into a nice lead here. So, John, we've got to catch up. What is the next most streamed Suicide Machine song? Um, Break the Glass. Break the Glass is, where is that? Number three. Number three is Break the Glass at 5 million plays on Spotify. That is plus three points to John. So, Lewis, what's up next? Mm. I, I think there's probably another one off that album at yeah. least. But let's go with something a little bit more modern. That I think was, uh, let's do High Anxiety. High Anxiety is number two. Number two nice. is High Anxiety. Oh, Eight million plays on Spotify. That puts Lewis at 24. John still at 17. No strikes on the board. And John, you are up. What is the next most streamed Suicide Machine song? Let's go the Van song. The Van song is a good guess, but it is incorrect, I'm afraid. So it is John's first strike, and we are going back to Lewis. All my dreams were just islands in the sky. Let's see. Islands. Islands is not on the board, I'm afraid. Damn it. This is Lewis's first strike, and we're going back to John. John, what do you got for us? I'm going to go with the... The covers seem to be a good lock on these, so let's go with the REM cover of uh, It's the End of the World as We Know It. Well, you definitely know it because that is number four. Number four, John. It is the end of the world as we know it. And that is plus two points to John. John's at 19. Lewis is at 24. And Lewis, can you nail this last song? I'm, 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 I have no idea. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be off a newer album. Um, but let's, well, I guess we could try. Uh, it's not War Profiteering. I don't know. War Profiteering is killing us all. It's the first track. Maybe it gets some plays. Well, I absolutely love that song. Killer opener. Not on the board, I'm afraid. So that is Lewis's second strike. And we are going back to John. I feel like the song Grass is pretty popular. I'm going to go with that. Good one too. That is not on the board. That is John's second strike. And we are going back to Lewis. Number five, Lewis. I don't think I'm going to get it, but I got to say it. Uh, Permanent Holiday. Oh. I mean, it was it's a hit, but I don't know if it's going to be it. Permanent Holiday is not on the board. So Lewis has striked out, and we're going back to John for his last chance to get a point and get a solid 20, a solid 20, John. Can we nail it? What's the song about the dog called? Oh, uh, Sometimes I Don't Mind. Yeah, let's go with that. Thank you. <laughs> all right, all That's right. I'll give you the name. I yeah. don't care. And that is not 
on the oh, board, I'm afraid. Really? And so number five, number five, if you want to try to guess, is off definition by destruction. Uh, if you want to go for it. If not, I'll reveal it right now. Uh, face value. Is face values on that one or no face or something? It, yeah, it's it's uh, no face. No face oh, is number okay. five. I know. Is that the one? I know a guy who know. Blah, blah, blah. Isn't that it? <laughs> That one's not that good. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why it has so many streams. Honestly, that's a surprise. Over over, sometimes I don't mind in permanent holiday. Like <laughs> yeah, that's, I, I that's surprising. <laughs> we double check my work there, but I swear. <laughs> so let's go on to the next band, and this is John. This is John starting off, and John, we're gonna travel back in time a little bit to your favorite era oh, of God. punk rock. We are going with the Dead Kennedys. <laughs> Oh, this is this isn't that bad, John. Yeah. I think most of the you got this are, one. This one's yeah, yeah. this one's okay, not that yeah, bad. Yeah, you got to get number one, John. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this I could probably name like four, maybe five. Uh, but okay. two, I think too drunk to fuck is gonna be in that top three. Okay, so too drunk to fuck is number four. Number oh, four geez. is too drunk to fuck at twenty-two million plays on Spotify. I'm in trouble. Yep. Yeah. So we're going well, back to Lewis now. Well, if things go really bad, you can go on a holiday to Cambodia, John. All right. So number one is a holiday in Cambodia, which, come on, John. <laughs> it's all right. I mean, it was, so in, it was in a rock band or one of them. Oh my yeah, God. I mean, it was a bunch of things. So we're going back to John now. So, John. I'm sorry about this, but just so you know, the next band might make up for it a little bit for you. Okay. So I'm in tr- I'm in trouble here. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's go Nazi punks fuck off. Nazi punks fuck off is number five. Number five is Nazi punks fuck off. That's 22 for John, 29 for Lewis. No strikes on the board. And let's go back to Lewis. California Uber Alice. Gotta California Uber Alice is number two. Number two is California Uber Alice. And that is at 36 million streams on Spotify. I just realized I was forgetting to say the Spotify streams, but we're back in it now. And so we're going back to John. John, can you get number three? Oh, my God. Is there, so there's got to be an obvious one I'm missing. But these are like these are like this, the ones I... I can recall. Um, I don't know. I got to pass. I got to take a strike. That is John's first strike and another strike to his punk rock credibility. (laughs) But it's all right. We're going down to Hudson Valley hardcore legend, Lewis, the most punk guy I know. What is number three, Lewis? (laughs) I I sold out years ago, fellas, but it's it's kill the poor, maybe? Kill the poor is a good guess, but it is incorrect. That is Lewis's first strike. And we're Come going on, Lewis, you gotta back save me. To John. <laughs> well, we gotta get to watch you squirm now, so it's pretty funny. Uh. <laughs> it's awesome. I I know there's like more that I like know, but I'm just like. No. Let's see. I mean, I, I don't I'm gonna know take how much another strike. Help you. I'm gonna oh, take another I strike. Take another I strike for John, and we're going down to Lewis. We're going down to Lewis. What's up? So this is what I know. It either has to be off Fresh Fruit or it has to be off Gimme Convenience because those are the two albums that most people seem to like. The other two. Okay. okay. That okay. is true. I'm going to go with Police Truck. Police Truck is number three. Thank God. Number three. Lewis dominated the Dead Kennedys, but honestly, John got too drunk to fucking Nazi fuck off which is pretty good i wasn't i was expecting him to go holiday and he got uh, those ones so but we're gonna get out of the 80s get the hell out of here <laughs> we're gonna move over to the early 2000s all right and so lewis you're gonna be starting off with this extremely punk band bowling for soup <laughs> <laughs> 1985. So 1985 is number one. Oh my god! I was, I was betting on John getting holiday in Cambodia, but now Lewis is a firm lead, and we're going back to John. John, you can knock the rest of these out. You got to. (laughs) Um, the girl, all the bad guys want. Bad guys 
The girl all the bad guy want is number three. Number three on the board at 93 million plays on Spotify. And 1985 is at 315 million plays on Spotify. So we're going back to Lewis. Lewis, what do you got? I'll be honest. I don't think I know another song. Um, all right. Well, we're in a dead Kennedy situation now. So you both yeah. got him with one of these. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, obviously, I know 1985. Um, I mean, I, I don't, I, I have no idea. Do they do any covers besides 1985? They do a ton I'll just of covers. Strike. Ton of just covers. Just so you know, I'll give you a strike, but you guys do have a hint, and there is a hint on here that I can give that is not just an album name. So, okay, let me take it. Then, I guess you'll I'll, take I'll the take hint. It. All right, since, well, since I have all right, a lead nope. here. Yeah, yeah. Right, we'll wipe the strike clean. It wasn't even on there. And the hint is this is, in fact, a cover is on the album. And it is a cover that was, uh, they were mistaken as that was the song they played for a while. Okay. A lot of people oh. thought they played the song and they did a cover of it. Oh, man. I was, well, no, I don't know. I, I, I thought that was the same story with 1985. So, <laughs> that that, that is that's, the same story in 1985. Yeah. <laughs> There's another one that's, that happened with as yeah, well. That's, that's the SR71. I, I don't know, man. So, John. You don't know? Ooh. All right, we're taking, no, we're taking a strike for Lewis. Lewis maintaining punk rock credibility by not knowing any Bowling for Soup songs. <laughs> now, John, going back to John, who's going to guess every single Bowling for Soup song, what is the song, John? <laughs> it is Stacy's Mom. Stacy's mom is number four. Oh, yeah, I thought that? you were giving us. I didn't us... even know they covered that. They covered it in two, 2011, and they were mistaken because of, I think it was LimeWire or maybe it was Napster accidentally put them as the name for Stacy's mom. So everyone thought they did Stacy's mom for the longest time. That was so, what Fountains of Wayne originally. Yeah, right? Fountains yeah. of Wayne originally. All right, so now we're going back down to Lewis, the biggest Bowling for Soup fan that I know. <laughs> Just. Just, uh, I'm going to go with next <laughs> here. I, don't, I got nothing. This is a round for John to make it up. Yeah, All I, don't right. know, I don't know. I couldn't name another song, guys. I've seen them live. Uh, like, times. Yeah. <laughs> another strike for Lewis. So, but just see, I, I gave the dead Kennedys because I had a feeling Lewis was going to dominate <laughs> that, and then I dropped it down the bullet for soup. So, <laughs> I mean, there's some big songs left. So. All right, I, I, there is some big songs left. So, go ahead, John. What you got? Um, Punk Rock 101. Punk Rock 101 is not on the board, and that is John's first strike. We are going back to Lewis. Lewis, you, in the deep depths of your mind, you can't pull up a single Bowling for Soup song. There's not a word. There's not a melody. <laughs> I need to get number two. I'll be honest. I, I don't know what this says. This says something bad about me. I'll be honest. I didn't even know they were a punk band until somebody told me. So <laughs> I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with an X on it. <laughs> All right, we're taking an X. <laughs> so once again, Lewis struck out, but it's fine. It's Bowling for Soup. It's not a real punk band. Now we're going back to John. Um, High School Never Ends. High School Never Ends is number two. That is the number two most streamed song by Bowling for Soup, and that is at 100 million plays on Spotify. And we're not going back to Lewis. But we're going back to John. <laughs> so, um, shoot. I don't want to use my hint, but I feel like this definitely could be another cover. Uh, but let's go, let's go newer and let's go with, uh, I want to be Brad Pitt. That is not on the board. So I love there that is, song. Uh, there's a hit, a hit you're not thinking of but this is your last chance, John, to add one point to your score to get that much closer to Lewis's dominating lead. Um, almost. Almost is number five. Number five is almost. And that is at 64 million plays on Spotify. All right. So let's, let's get out of this messy territory of – you know a band, John knows a band, and let's move past this and go some other direction. And the band that John is going to be starting off with, and the final band is going to oh, be no. the Flatliners. And John still has a hint. Oh, no. So, but, yeah. <laughs> All right. This is, this is me or this is Lewis? The, you're it's going you starting, yeah. Okay. So yeah. give me that hint. Why not? <laughs> well, I, I, how about this? You got to have a strike on the board before I give you a hint. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so 
<laughs> yeah, you got to go at least one. <laughs> Sorry. God. All right. We'll do that. I, I feel like that's more fair. What do you think? Is that fine? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I, whatever. Yeah. It's a close game, so it's fun. Whatever. Yeah. Um. I'm monumental. I don't know. Monumental is number two. Number two is monumental. And so that is plus four points to John. And we're going down to Lewis. So Lewis. Fred's, Fred's got slacks on the boulevard. Fred's got slacks is number one. That oh is the most streamed the Flatliners song. That's the game. <laughs> That's the game. That's the game. But we can still catch up here. And at least not have the lead so dominant. And so let's go back to John. John. Oh, there was like a, I'm like, my brain is just not functioning yet. I've only had two cups of coffee. There's like a song that I said, this is the Flatliner song on the tier list like three weeks ago. Um, yeah, I, I, I agree. Oh, uh, it was that song about uh, uh, eulogy. Right? No, not Say eulogy. Um, it's on Cavalcade. Hold on. And no hints allowed. So let's go. No, I can give you a hint. I don't have a strike. Yeah, you have the hint time. You still have a hint. Yeah, but I you said you I, hint. you told no, me. No, no. I... Oh, oh, how about, I'm sorry. I didn't mean one strike. I meant one guess at least. Oh, I'm yeah. Sorry. Then let me use my hint. Yeah. Yeah. Just so you can't like immediately get the first one. That oh. was it. So yeah, you, the hint I'll give you for number three is off of your favorite Flatliners album, John, Inviting Light. Oh, oh. What's that song called then? <laughs> Hang My Head. Hang My Head is number three. Hang My Head is number three at six million plays on Spotify. I and never would have got three that. points to John. John is at 39. Well, thank gosh you used your hint for that one. So we're going back down to Lewis. Is the name of that song Eulogy, John? Am I remembering the song? Yeah, there's Eulogy Eulogies on Great yeah. Awake, yeah. Let me guess. Yeah, I couldn't remember the name. I'll guess that one, I guess. Cause All I, right. I, 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 Eulogy is a great guess, but it is not on the board. Ooh. And we are going back to John. First strike to Lewis. Yep. Um, one more guess, I think. What is that song called? I, I th It's not the one I'm thinking of, but let's go so my mouth shut. Oh, that's a good so one. my mouth shut is not on the board, and that is John's first strike. We are going back down to Lewis. Lewis, the flatliners. Uh, what do you got? Probably great awake, great awake. respirator. This respirator is number five. At Three million plays on Spotify, and that is plus one point to Lewis. Lewis is at 47. John is at 39. No way for John to win, but John, can you get this last one? I know you can get it. Um, Birds of England? Birds of England is not Ooh. on the board, I'm afraid. That is John's second strike, and we are going back down to Lewis. Oh, man. Uh, God, what's that? I don't remember the names off of Fred's Got Slack, off of uh, the first album. What's the first album called, anyway? I'm blanking on the title now. Destroy to Create. Destroy well. to Create, yeah. Uh... What is it like cable TV or Fox? I forget what it's like a TV song name. I'll just guess that one. I, whatever that is. I know what it, you're probably. talking about. And that is not on the board. I'm afraid. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so yeah, that yeah. is Lewis's second strike. We're going back to John, John for the last guess, number four. And since Lewis is already had, I'm going to give you the smallest hint. You were very close with birds of England. Oh, so I see. I was going to go cavalcade all day long. So it's on. Mm -hmm. Dead language. So it's going to be track two on dead language, but I can't think of what it is. <laughs> uh, right. Well, butchering the track list on dead language currently. And John, oh. you got it. it. Come on. You got it. You got it. <laughs> oh, it's it? No, no, oh. no. He didn't get it yet. I'm telling him he's got it. <laughs> I can't name those songs. I, I'm, I'm, I'm really struggling with this. Oh. Their names are their song names are hard, man. And like I'm not. God, a, once I, I say I, it, you're gonna be you're gonna like you're gonna be like, come on, you should have got this one. Oh, <laughs> drown in blood. 
No, it okay. is not on the board, and we're going back down to Lewis <laughs> for the final guess, and I'll reveal it, and you'll know, John. You'll I know, know what I, I say it. I love that album. I know you do. Is there what a you, is the, is one of the tracks self titled? Is it Dead Language? <laughs> no, it is not Dead Language. <laughs> so Lewis is striked out. John is striked out, and number four is Resuscitation of oh, the Year. Oh, damn. Oh. That's a good one. Yeah. Okay, I knew that one. So, all right, Lewis won this one. That means we're going to have to come back for a tiebreaker round at some point for the final one. That one had all sorts of ups and downs, and there was drama. There was, you know, excitement. There was action. It was pretty good. What did you guys think? How'd that one go for you? It's hard. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun? Yeah, that was, it was fun, and it was hard, I think. Uh, I think throwing in uh, two that were very <laughs> difficult for both of us, you know, one each is pretty – a good bet. That's a yeah. good style. I like that. Yeah, <laughs> I had to do. I also had to get some uh, a few more pop punk bands like thrown out of the way because I'm trying to stack these bands up kind of evenly. And so I was like, ah, and I'm gonna throw Bowling for Soup in there. I was like, Lewis is probably gonna get one song, but John's probably gonna get like one Dead Kennedy song, so it'll be yeah. all right. <laughs> I mean, Lewis got the you, pop you... Bowling for Soup song, and I blew it with number four or five. I know yeah. if you if you got holiday you would have been a much better position yeah yeah that was the difference yeah it, it's it's yeah oh it's like a i mean you still wouldn't have won but it'd been like two point difference yeah damn um so yeah that oh. wraps everything up this is punk rock feud episode four big crown over lewis's head he's the champ the new champ has snatched the crown from john's <laughs> head but john will be back in episode five to retake his position as punk rock feud legend so <laughs> thank you for watching don't forget to join the discord down below and don't forget to check out punkrockradar.com for all sorts of merchandise uh, we got records we got t-shirts so thank you for watching and we're out